Joe Flaherty, the comedic actor best known for his performances in the influential sketch comedy series SCTV, and as a father on the short-lived NBC ensemble series Freaks and Geeks, has passed away at the age of 82 on Monday, April 1st, 2024. His death was confirmed by his daughter, Gudrun Flaherty, who said that Mr. Flaherty died after a brief illness. She did not specify a cause or say where he died. Mr. Flaherty played a variety of characters on SCTV as part of an ensemble that included John Candy, Martin Short, Rick Moranis, Andrea Martin, Eugene Levy, and Catherine O'Hara. The concept of the series which aired in the 1970s and 1980s, was that his sketches were shows for a low-rent TV station in a fictional town called Mellonville. Among Mr. Flaherty's characters were Guy Caballero, the sleazy president of the station, and Sammy Maudlin, an unctuous late-night talk show host. His characters, Count Floyd, wore a cheap vampire costume, while hosting a horror movie show, Monster Chiller Horror Thr- Theater. The joke was that the movie's program showed, such as Dr. Tongue's evil House of Pancakes, were seldom very scary, leaving Floyd holding the bag and often having to apologize to his viewers. Goodwin Flaherty said in a statement that her father had an unwavering passion for movies from the 1940s and 1950s, which influenced his comedy, including his time on SCTV. Mr. Flaherty was also known for roles in television shows and in films that were cherished by many of his fans. He played Harold Ware, the no-nonsense father of two awkward teenagers, in the cult television series Freaks and Geeks, which ran for only one season after premiering in 1999, but helped launch the careers of several young actors including James Franco, Seth Rogen, Busy Phillips, Jason... And Gilmore, you suck. Yeah, jackass. Why don't you shut the hell up? He had a small but memorable role as a man who taunts the title character, a golf player, played by Adam Sandler from the crowd. Joseph O'Flaherty was born on June 21st, 1941 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The eldest of seven children, according to a 2004 profile in the Globe and Mail, his father was a production clerk at the Westinghouse Electric and the family struggled financially. I still remember nuns from the church bringing us food, he said. After graduating from Central Catholic High School, he joined the Air Force at the age of 17. He had taken a class at Pittsburgh Playhouse before enlisting, and after leaving the Air Force, he returned to the theater to take more classes. His focus was drama, but he got a taste for the life of a comedic actor while playing George in a scene from Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf in front of a small audience that laughed at his lines readings. I was kind of thrown aback because I thought, hey, what are they laughing at? This is drama, Mr. Flaherty told Wessa. But the lines were actually funny, and I enjoyed that. I enjoyed getting laughter from the audience. He continued to study dramatic acting, but felt the pull of comedy as he looked for work as an actor. The search took him to Chicago and the Second City. The Improvisational Comedy Theater, which he... Jackass. Whoa! The club went further than the ball. Ed was he fell in love with comedy. From that point on, it was all comedy. Mr. Flaherty told the Globe and Mail that he changed his surname to avoid confusion with Joseph O'Flaherty, who was already in the Actings Equity Union with the second city in Chicago for seven years before moving to Toronto to help start a branch of the troupe there. SCTV, a short for second city television, emerged as an offshoot of the Toronto troupe in 1976. The show aired first on Global in Toronto, and then CBS and CBC and then NBC and Cinemax in the United States. It won an Emmy Award for outstanding writings in a variety of music program in 1982 and again in 1983. After SCTV ended in 1984, Mr. Flaherty maintained ties to Canada, dividing his time between Toronto and Los Angeles. After Freaks and Geeks, 
was cancelled, he accepted an invitation to become an artist in residence at Humber College in Toronto. He also worked steadily on television and in films. In Back to the Future, Part 2, in 1989, he was the Western Union man who delivered a message to Marty McFly, played by Michael J. Fox. You're going to need a blanket and suntan lotion because you're never going to get off that beach just the way you never got into the NHL, you jackass. <laughs> After it sat in the Western Union office for 70 years, he reprised the role a few years later in 2010 episode of the animated series Family Guy. In addition to his daughter, Mr. Flaherty is survived by his son, Gabe. Complete information on the survivors was not immediately available at the time of his passing. Reflecting on the legacy of SCTV, two decades after its last episode aired, Mr. Flaherty told The Globe and mailed the fact that the troops members, several of whom went on to become successful in film and television careers, had worked together extensively on stage was key to the show's success. If we had done it like an American network, they had done auditions for cast members, he said they would have picked out people that did, did, that did the best auditions and then put them together as a group to see if they could find chemistry. Well, we really had chemistry. The whole was greater than the sum of its parts. Rest in peace, Joe Flaherty. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. As always, continue with the history and film. And I hope you guys have a great day and catch you guys in the next video. Until next time.